Hey guys, Adam the RC here, and uh, today I wanted to share with you um, the hop-ups I got for my TRX4. Um, this is the earlier or the first model, the <clears throat> Range Rover Defender um, or Land Rover Defender. Sorry, um, I shortened the wheelbase so I could fit 313 millimeter bodies on here. Um, I didn't really like that Defender body. <clears throat> so um, I wanted to share with you what upgrades I went with as far as dumping money into my crawler. Um, the first grade uh, upgrade I did, but I didn't really spend any money. I just printed this uh, low C uh, LCG um, battery mount where the battery sits really low here. Um, that was one of my first, my first top up only. Um, but I was able to get some hop-ups from A-Main. I bought some hop-ups from A-Main. Um, what I believe the most important hop-up is on a crawler is getting rid of this uh, plastic servo horn here. Um, there's been twice where I've brought out new rigs for, you know, filming and whatnot, and I <laughs> stripped the servo horn while I was out in the field, and I was far from home or any hobby shop to get a metal one. So... From now on, or from then on, I always upgrade this to a, a metal servo horn before I go out. This one's been sitting for a while, so I haven't really done anything with it. So, <clears throat> with a metal servo horn, I might as well upgrade the servo. So I went with um, Eco Power um, from A Main. Uh, this thing puts out a uh, 280 ounce inch in torque, so. That's plenty for this thing. And then I went with Samix products. Here's the servo horn I'm gonna go with. And in my personal opinion, I mean, there's a lot of debates out there on what you should go with for your first hop ups. But um, to me, I think it's unsprung weight. Unsprung weight meaning no weight <clears throat> above the axles you mean on you know unsprung is here on the axles if it's on and you're putting a load on it you're adding weight and you're putting a load on the springs you know um, it's not ideal you want it low oops And what they call unsprung. So I got these brass diff covers. They're 60 grams each. That'd be nice. Put all this here. I got these uh, brass hexes from Samix. See the part number there. Focus. And then the cool stuff is the brass front knuckle C hub and portal cover with the brake rotor combo. That's the front. There's a part number here. Then here's the rear. So those will replace all of this and all of this. And the C hub here in the front. Then I'm going to replace my motor and ESC. I went with the Hobbywing X Run brushless system, the Axe brushless and motor, 2300 kV. I'm going to give that a shot. This will be my first uh, brushless crawler. Oops. Um, the, I watched a lot of videos on this and it looked pretty good, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And then I'm also going to attempt to replace my um, radio and receiver. 
don't know if you guys know, but I'm a Futaba guy. Um, I don't like none of that ready to run controller stuff. <clears throat> so um, it's going to be a challenge programming the servos, the four servos and the ESC here. So I'm going to get this all mounted up and uh, be right back. Hey guys, so uh, before I start uh, putting the Samix brass on and my brushless system, uh, I wanted to weigh it to see what's it at um, before I put it on and then after. So without any brass on, I'm getting about 19, 1,960 grams, okay? So I'm gonna put it on and see what happens out there. front and rear diff covers as well as the hexes are brass I also got the uh, eco power servo with the Samic servo saver on there got my scale all zeroed out, zeroed out. Oh, let me take out this battery I didn't have this battery on when I weighed it but... and with it all hooked up 2485. So about 500 grams I've added. A little over 500 grams. So uh, I'm going to take this out to the course and uh, see how it does. <laughs> 